Hey, a friend, Chris Vandeviver here from WildLogicProRules.com. Now, yesterday, we actually dug right in and started composing an idea using all of the tools available in Logic. We started out by picking a drummer track. So we have some drum inspiration and backbeat to the idea that I had on guitar, then dug into the Apple Loop library and picked out a bass loop to help fill out our production. I then used a guitar audio track to lay down my guitar performance using the included amp designer in Logic. And then I picked out an electric piano sound using the library and then performed a piano software instrument track. Of course, my performance was not perfect, so we now need to clean up a little bit of the performance. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use some of the editing features in Logic. So first things first, my piano track definitely had a flub. I know that for a fact. So we can actually solo different tracks by clicking on this headphone button right here, and we can mute certain tracks as well, clicking the speaker with the line through it. So let's take a listen. Right there, there was a little bit of a flub. So let's select our electric piano region, and if we go up to the scissor icon here, we're gonna open up what is called the piano roll. And the piano roll shows us a closer view of the MIDI data of our different software instrument performances. So you can see that they're all the same velocity, a velocity of 127, so it's the hardest or loudest it could possibly be played. And if we zoom in here, so we can either hold control option and click and drag, this provides us with a magnifying glass tool. So if you click and drag over an area, you can zoom in. If you don't click and drag over an area and click, it'll zoom back out. So if we just go over here to this section, we can see that my performance is a little off. And I'm not sure where it should be placed, but let's kind of back this up and see what happens. Okay, let's bring it forward. And we can back those up. So an easier way to clean up your performances is just to select all the notes in your session. And then over here in this window on the left-hand side of the piano roll, we can pick different quantize values to quantize to. So I'm guessing an eighth note quantize value. If I click on it, now all of our notes have been moved. Perfect. If I decide that I don't want this piano track to be played as hard as 127 velocity, drag this down. And we can even choose to quantize the performance based on scale. So if I decide that C major is not what I want, I can pick like F major. But I'm not feeling that. We're gonna keep it at C major. Okay. Perfect, so now our piano performance is locked into the drums. So the bass performance is a loop. We don't really need to adapt that right now. But I know my guitar performance also is not the best. So check it out. Okay, so it feels a little laggy in some spots. That's A-OK. -okay. So we're going to enable something called flex time. Now flex time allows us to adjust the timing of a performance or the pitch of a performance, not just by chopping up the performance and moving stuff around, but it uses time compression and expansion. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of like sorcery because this was not how the performance was played, but we can adjust the timing of it after the fact. If we just go up to this button here that looks like an audio region that's being twisted around, click on that, and now we have a new menu in the track header for each of our tracks. This is the track header right here. If you click and hold on this menu, you're gonna see a variety of options. To start with, we have flex time automatic, which means if we select this, Logic is going to kind of analyze the performance and determine which mode is the best one for your performance, which could work really well. In this case, Logic has determined slicing. Slicing is really best for drum performances. So I'm gonna say this is not the one I wanna choose. We could choose monophonic, which is for instruments that play one note at a time. That's a good fit for bass or vocal tracks. Rhythmic is for performances that have a lot of rhythmic action, such as a synth or a rhythm guitar track. And polyphonic is for more complex materials. 
Speed and Tempo Phone are more special effects, so you can try those out and see what they're all about. I'm going to choose polyphonic as this is a guitar and I play chords, so it is a little more complicated in terms of what's going on. Okay, so now I'm going to open what is called the Region Inspector. Go up to the I here, click on it. We now have what is very similar to the mixer. We have all the features of the mixer plus a couple of drop down menus. We have the Region Inspector and the Track Inspector. So in this case, I'm going to focus on the Region Inspector. I'm going to set quantize to a specific value. If I choose any one of these values, we're gonna see the different aspects of this region here adjust in terms of timing. And as you can see, there have been some adjustments made. These are transient markers and they get pushed and pulled in different directions to try to line up the performance to line up with the grid. So let's see how it did. Okay, that's not so good. So in this case, I'm gonna go up to my mouse tool, I'm gonna select the eraser tool, and get rid of this transient marker here. Okay, let's see how that goes. So I still don't feel good about how that resolves. So if I zoom in here and I choose my arrow tool, if I click right in this region here, we can create what is called a flex marker. So the markers that are not big and bold are transient markers, the bold ones are flex markers, and these are user generated. So if I kind of bring this in, you can now see the performance is being tightened up in terms of timing. Let's hear it. Okay, a little too fast. So let's kind of drag it out. Okay, that feels pretty good. Perfect, so now the timing of our guitar performance is locked in with the drums and everything else. And it took very little effort. We had to turn on flex, pick the right mode, set the quantize value, and then make a couple of adjustments to just a note or two. Now, even though the bass performance is well in time, check it out. And even the pitching sounds pretty good, but let's just assume the pitching is not as good as we want it to be. Maybe you're working with a vocalist and they could use a little tightening up in the pitch department. Well, in this case, we're gonna choose flex pitch. And as you can see here, we're presented with a couple of different blocks. Those blocks look like something that would be on a software instrument track, but instead these blocks indicate the pitch that is being played at different moments. So if I adjust the pitch here, and I'll remove the guitar for now. So you can imagine how you can quickly tighten up a performance or get really creative with the performance. And we can get a closer view of our flex pitch data just by going up to the editor button. Let's make sure to open flex mode for our track view editor. And then if we squash this up a little bit, you can use these different sliders right here, or hold command and press the left or right arrows on your Mac keyboard. And then we can zoom in and out as we need to. And you can also expand the view of each of the editors just by dragging on the top of each one, bring it up and down. Perfect. And many of the other windows in Logic, such as the library, the Apple Loops library, the mixer, you can also expand or contract those as you need to. So let's open the library and we can drag this in or out. You get the idea. So we can also quantize the different notes in this performance using the time quantize feature. So we can set the strength to the eighth note and adjust this to 100% if we needed to. We don't really need to in this case. And we can also adjust the pitch correction to 100% if we needed to, but again, we don't really need to. And you can adjust pitch on a note by note basis. We also can make creative decisions with flex time right over here, so check it out. Pretty awesome, right? Let's back out of here a little bit using the Command-Z option. I'm gonna make sure to set these notes where they were originally, okay? And lastly, we can once again go to the drummer track here 
go into the editor and change around some of the performance. So maybe I don't want a hi-hat necessarily, so I can turn on the shaker here, turn off the hi-hat. Maybe I don't like that sound so much. And you get the idea. There's plenty of opportunity to clean up your tracks in terms of timing and pitch or to get a little more creative with timing or pitch adjust your drummer performances, or clean up your software instrument performances as well. As long as you have the editor button enabled, you can select different types of regions, and this editor will adjust accordingly. So select this, select this. Just remember that you might have to enable flex view for the different audio regions. But again, I think you can see that getting to create in Logic takes little to no effort. It's pretty fantastic. Now, tomorrow we're gonna dig into the actual mixer in Logic. This is a pretty big part of the experience of working in Logic. See you then.